August 3rd, The Finding of St. Stephen's Relics The edifying story of St. Stephen the Proto-Martyr is told in chapter 6 and 7 of the Acts of the Apostles. He was one of the first seven deacons and is a model of evangelical zeal who sealed this virtue in his own blood being stoned to death for our lord by a mob of angry jews thus he became our first martyr or proto-martyr scripture ends its account of the deacon by telling us that devout men took order for stephen's funeral and made great mourning over him but who are those devout men and where did they bury the precious remains the answers to these questions were revealed to the world almost four hundred years after the event in the year four fifteen on december third a priest named lucian was sleeping on his cot in the baptistery where he habitually retired in order to guard the sacred vessels of the church being half awake he saw a tall old man of venerable aspect clothed in white and gold who approached him and called him by his name three times bidding him go to jerusalem and tell bishop john to come and open the tombs where his remains and those of certain other servants of christ lay this act would permit god to open the gates of his clemency to many souls lucian asked his name and he replied i am gamaliel who instructed st paul in the law gamaliel then said he would also find the tomb of st stephen proto-martyr and nicodemus who came to visit jesus at night and who when driven out of jerusalem by the authorities had been sheltered by himself in his country residence at the present site this vision was thrice repeated and on the third visit the priest was reproached for his delay after the third vision lucian went to jerusalem and laid the whole affair before bishop john who directed him to go and search himself for these relics gamaliel appeared again this time to a holy monk of the same region to indicate the exact site where the inhabitants of the village should dig there indeed were found coffins with the respected names engraved on them and without opening these lucian sent immediately to acquaint bishop john with the discovery the bishop convinced the bishops of sebastus and jericho to journey with him to kafar gamala the relics of the four saints were found according to the directions given to father lucian by saint gamaliel who revealed that they had been buried on his own estate in kafar gamala about twenty miles outside of jerusalem a great crowd came together and many of them who were sick and weak from various ailments went away perfectly cured the sacred body of st stephen was then carried with great honor to the holy church of sion miraculous cures continued and the whole prodigy expanded when the portions of the relics were sent all over the catholic world including north africa where st augustine built a shrine in honor of st stephen the other saints discovered with st stephen were st gamaliel st nicodemus and st abibo st gamaliel none other than the famous pharisee mentioned in acts chapter five who counseled the sanhedrin not to put st peter and his companions to death it is said that with st paul gamaliel witnessed the martyrdom of st stephen this would explain in part why the proto-martyr was buried on gamaliel's estate st abibo was the second son of gamaliel and is most likely the one mentioned as having been baptized with his father and nicodemus there is a tradition that he escaped the destruction of jerusalem and lived to the age of eighty st nicodemus is the sanhedrist mentioned in john three who came to jesus by night and to whom our lord gave the new evangelical teaching of being born again of water and the holy ghost he also defended our lord before the pharisees and the chief priests showing that without a hearing he could not be convicted of a crime finally he together with saint joseph of arimathea had the privilege of wrapping jesus's precious body in the shroud and burying it in the sepulchre st austin speaking of the miracles of st stephen addresses himself to his flock as follows let us so desire to obtain temporal blessings by his intercession that we may merit in imitating him those which are eternal 